Hello everyone and welcome to our quilling video. Today we will be showing you how to make this ladybird. What we need for this is half a strip of black paper in 5 mm, 6 strips of red paper in 3 mm. Here we have some fabric paint in black and white colors, a quilling needle, a brush, some white craft glue, a quilling coach and this we have an old pencil which has a flat eraser. This we will use to glue inside the ladybird. First we will start by attaching our red strips together to make a long strip. Now we joined all our strips to make one long strip like this. Now we are going to make this into a tight coil for our lady. Because it's a long strip so we need to be careful that we don't overlap our layers. this. Now we glue it. Applying a little glue. Here we have a tight circle. Now we need to give it a little 3D shape like we've done with this one. Just going to press it inside a little very gently and very slightly. We need to make a little mound here like this. Just pressing my thumb inside. Like this. Now we'll apply our glue inside and using the back of our pencil we're just going to spread it like this. Applying glue inside makes sure that our 3D design will not collapse. Now we just let it dry. Leave it to dry and then we will make the face of our ladybird. For that we have a half strip in black color. This we are using a 5 mm strip. We will make this into a tight coil as well. Like 
this. Now after the body is dry, we will attach the body and the head. The body of the ladybird is now dry from inside. So we are going to attach the face. Taking a trap glue. We are going to attach the face to the body. Like this. Now for making the eyes, we are going to use a white fabric paint. Taking a little on a brush and just making two tiny dots for the eyes. Like this. Then we are going to take a black paint and make the lines in the dots on the body. Just making random dots on the body of the lady. Like this. After it is dry, you can use it on anything. You can use it for making greeting cards or for making earrings. You can attach hooks to it. Here we have a hair clip and you can attach it to the hair clip. Like this after it is dry. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. Thanks for watching our video.